To begin setting up the tripwire function on a Leland IVS camera, we begin by opening Internet Explorer and logging into the camera using the IP address. Once logged in, we click into the Setup menu, and then we click into Advanced Mode, giving us access to all of the settings. Once Advanced Mode is loaded, we click into the Event tab at the top of the screen. From the Event tab, we'll click into the IVS interface so that we can set the camera to be in tripwire mode. We do so by selecting the tripwire radio button and then clicking the Submit button at the bottom of the screen. This will cause the camera to go into a reboot. Once the reboot is complete, the camera is now ready to set up IVS. Once again, we click into the Setup menu, and then we click into the Event menu at the top of the screen, and then this time, we will click into the Motion Detection interface. This is where we are able to configure where we would like our tripwires to exist. To begin, we click the Edit button at the bottom, we make sure that we've selected Tripwire from the Motion Detection Type menu, and then we can select Zone or Rectangle. Zone is the setting that allows us to draw lines anywhere on the screen that we like, so we'll go ahead and use Zone for this example. As you can see, you simply draw the line onto the screen wherever you want it to be. This line can be extended or moved however you wish, but it is important that we consider where we place this in order to effectively detect motion. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this, and for this application, we only want to see if the door opens. So I'm going to go ahead and place the IVS line right here at the top of the door, and then click on the Submit button at the bottom. What this will do is it'll cause this to trigger only when we see this line broken. So if somebody walks through the door, we'll see that it'll trigger the motion event. We can head back to the live screen, and we can see that as somebody approaches the door, it's not detected, but once the door is open, this causes the motion event to be triggered. After a short dwell period, we can see that the line returns to being green and the motion event disappears. The line is now ready to be triggered for another event. And that's how easy it is to set up Tripwire using your Leland IVS camera. Should you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Leland Technical Support.